Hi, welcome to this Article Linux B computer. Sometimes um, we want to try out other operating systems. And I've heard about an operating system which is called Windows. And we can download this uh, Windows system. And it says here we need to select an edition, Windows 10, April 2018 update, and Windows 10, and then confirm. It's going to validate everything. Then we need an English, maybe English International, or any other of the languages. I guess that's most appropriate one. And then confirm. And it's going to give us an ISO of 32 bits to download or 64 bits. We'll take 64 bits to download. And at this point in time, it's already downloading and we'll have to wait for 4.37 gigabytes. So quite a lot of uh, data on there. So that's what we're gonna do. But the thing is, we are actually making a tutorial about a application. Working on Linux, you want to try out this Windows thing, then you want to install it in VirtualBox or VMware, which is okay. But sometimes you want to install it also on an SSD or a hard disk. How to write this ISO that we're downloading on a USB? That's the topic of the video. There is this thing which is called WOA, A, A, yeah. USB. So that's the one you need to install. It's a Linux, Linux, Linux program to create Windows USB stick installer from a real Windows DVD or an image. Well, it's the last thing. We're downloading an image and you see at the votes, this is 2 plus, this is 105 plus. So I'll guess I'll take number two, which is not, um, well, if you can look at the date, 14 June. So this is more recent than this one, 2 June. But anyway, Git is probably mostly, most of the time, 90% of the time, the last one, last version. So I'm gonna take this one, install it. Yes. And we got this application that we need to write the ISO to a USB. That's the whole point. And then maybe try it out later on SSD or on a hard disk. All right, then we need to figure out how this thing works. So the first reflex is something like, let's see what the thing is called. Okay, so we have an USB and a USB GUI, it says there. The GUI is graphical user interface. So I'm wondering what, how, and what shall we do? So we have indeed something that is graphical from a disk image ISO or from the DVD which I don't have and a target device I can put in my target device already I have this USB gonna pop it in it's in and there it is well you don't see it's it's uh, on the right screen so plasma found it already probably need to refresh voila there it is it's enough <laughs> data 60 gigabytes and you only need 5, 4, 4.37. So it's still downloading, it's on the other side. It's here, it's almost done, like they say. And um, the other option, Control C, the other option would be something figuring out, can we do it in um, terminal? So we type something like dash H or dash dash help, like this one. And then you get this information and you need to tell them the device. What's the device? Where is the ISO? What's the other device? And all that. So all these uh, complicated things. But it's also possible. Don't forget there's often a man. Not always, but just write. And if there is a manual, then you can check it out here. So they do explain very good what to do. And I've done it last time in Terminal. I'm gonna do it this time in graphical. So the download is complete. There is my download, done. Gonna check 
my dolphin which is the file manager move it over here so this is our iso it's 4.4 gigabyte and now i'm gonna say ctrl alt t and my arrow up i'm gonna take the gui like i told you from a disk it's in my downloads here it is open and it's going to go on there install need some privileges to overwrite it and this is the way for you to install an uh, windows iso on the usb so you can test it out later i guess this concludes the video i mean you can wait till everything is installed but it's just uh, well a usb eject your usb and try it out all right cheers